game three though let's just let's just get on let's just get on with this let's move past that map and get into this one how interesting i love this map already i love this map already for mb far better than his previous game and he does have options he definitely will feel comfortable with this um meanwhile shibu his map not quite as strong as his previous one um at first glance there are some shore fish up here but it's kind of blocked by the stone that's a pretty big shame he will be forced to go with that berry and he's not gonna like this wood line it's kind of just in the way you can't really rely on chopping that for very long meanwhile yeah look at that this time and and they're not messing around pitting this shorefish pit it's also got the wood it's pretty weak wood i mean it's literally it's it's like three trees that are actually close. He's going to chop three trees and then he's going to need to repit if he wants to be efficient with his wood. But yeah, these players. Very strong. 1-1. One, one, best of three, right? So this is the, the tiebreaker. Winner of this match goes on to the quarterfinals. And they're going to fight the winner of Doubt versus Oc 2, I believe. I think. Or is it Tokyo? I actually I actually forget the bracket there for a second. I'd have to I'd have to remember. I'm sure you guys know. You guys can use command exclamation point bracket to get the brackets. Take a look at all of that updated live. Well, not this game, but everything else is up. It's updated after each set. Okay. Shibu. I don't I don't know what Shibu's gonna do. He's going for the Ellie Lure. It's hard to say. He he does have this uh, stone mine in the back. We could be seeing slingers. His his map is really wallable. As long as he doesn't go to chop this forest, his map is actually really wallable. These two forests will provide him enough cover for some slingers. But I think Embe's gonna be looking for a really fast time here, and we already see his scout coming across the map. And this scout is definitely gonna be going for that critical info. Where's my opponent? And he's gonna want to drop that barracks. We've seen him do this play. Um, a lot and in a lot of tournaments he goes for this the one vill across the map braving the wild and this time it might actually get punished here if he loses he's gonna lose this vill because he's gonna he's gonna run he needs to run from the uh he couldn't stand and fight the lion because the gator was coming oh my gosh and she was gonna die <laughs> uh. Uh, oh, that was funny. Oh, that was pretty good. One and then the other. Boom, boom. There is no escape. There is no escape from the lions. And tigers. And bears. Oh, my. Uh, I love it. Lions in this game are probably just the funniest thing to me. I don't know why. They... They're just such a nuisance. They don't do anything good. And there's just absolutely no way to deal with it if you get a villager caught out like that. And you have to scout with the vills. So it's just lose. <laughs> you just lose a vill sometimes. It's completely random. It's, it's a very arbitrary system for nature. But I guess that's kind of the point. It's not supposed to be the most fair mechanic. This game isn't the most fair game. Okay, so now... He's got a lot of shorefish. She has a lot of shorefish. I like this pit spot. He's got the stone too. We could be seeing that defensive play, especially now that they lost his first forward vill. Uh, both players losing a vill though means that the speed will get. Whoa, Shibu lost two. Did he lose one on the Ellie lure? Maybe I missed something. But and they, now we'll get that info. He saw the berries, so he's going to be placing his barracks probably somewhere down here. He's got to be careful. He doesn't run into another line. Looks like he will. But he notices right away. So he will not be losing this vill, but it will get pretty low. Which means that she could potentially move forward with the vill and spot this. But I think we're going to be seeing a very aggressive barracks. And look at the positioning. Yeah, yeah. Embe is just going for this full and all in axe rush. Is he building a pit here first, though? I'm not sure. I think he needs to build the barracks first if he's going to pull this off. It's almost, it's over seven minutes. We're over seven minutes into this game. He's going to need... 
Gonna need to place his barracks soon if he's gonna have any hope of getting in on Shibu's map. Oh my god, Shibu losing a third villager. This is a nightmare situation for Shibu. Three villagers. Three villagers. What game, what game was it earlier today where we got, um... Who lost two vills? Was it Dejiba who lost two vills to, um, lions? Or to elephants? I think that was Digi, but maybe it was someone else. I actually don't remember. I'm sure you guys remember it, but that, hang. These nature units, Gaia coming in strong this game with uh, four kills so far. Best kill loss I've seen at eight minutes from nature. Yeah, I think Shibu's got to go slingers this game. He's going to send, he, we've seen him do this before. He's going to make a few clubbers uh, in the front. And then transition into slingers. And once he gets those vills on stone, if we see one on stone, that'll be the clear indication. But he can't really commit to that until until he knows he's actually made safe. Because if you start making, if you wait, if you don't make these clubbers, you don't have the option to upgrade them to axers. And now that he's tool, he's tool before Embe, which is actually pretty surprising. That's actually pretty surprising. Um, I did not expect that. Um, Shibu will be able to wall this spot off. He effectively, once that, that upgrade comes in, the wall upgrade. Uh oh. Letting a clubber in. There's two clubbers in here. That's not the end of the world for him. If he's able to wall off all of the spots. Oh man, we're going to see so many slingers. He does have to deal with these two clubbers though. These clubs are going to just be waiting in the wings, waiting for their upgrades. And then I'm just going to strike with uh, two fully upgraded Axemen. There is a clubber in defense. Yeah, he's got to bring some clubbers back. But this is opening him up. But once again, potentially a risky situation for him. <laughs> the house. Trapping the villa out once again. Okay, so he's got the clubbers inside the base with the armor upgrade. So with that, he will be able to beat down on these, uh, on these axes in his economy. And he is full wall. One extra at a time here. Once he gets, once he clears up these actions, oh, he really has to watch this. Why didn't that build? I really wonder what made that happen. But yeah, so Shibu going for the extra defense, and I like this play from him a lot. I think Shibu's playing this pretty well. He's he's defended. He's defended against the onslaught, and now he's gonna be okay. Um, looking now for when is he gonna transition into? Just gotta watch out. This isn't walled. Is that walled? I actually can't tell. I don't. I don't know if that comes down or if it uh, goes around. We'll see later. I guess if that's a factor, it is a factor. Man, these players tied with one, and this is the game we come down to. I love it. I love it. Slingers, slinger defense. He's got the axers ready though, to help alleviate some of this early pressure. And now I think we're gonna see. Now I think we're going to see Embe doing Slingers of his own. Yeah, he's got the Stone Mine available. We don't see a market from him just yet. There's probably still more answers to come from him. But look at this. Shibu's made safe in an area. Now we need to see the dock. If we see a dock, then we're going to know that Shibu's going to be feeling very comfortable. But it's going to be a while. This is all, all going to take time. He still needs a market for that Slinger upgrade. He still needs to make sure his Vils are actually working. As they currently are, he probably should delete that house now that the axers are out of his base. He needs to uh, get his wood line up and running. And now Shiba's going for a run for it, but uh, throwing away his army here probably is the least efficient way to do things, other than buying time, maybe? If he buys time, he'll be okay. But remember, Shibu's coming from a two-vill deficit. Both players losing units early on to those lions. Has really made this game a little bit slower, and and you can really feel the difference. Like you can really you can see the difference. The players just don't have the resources that they need to keep fueling this game. Um, the unit production is really slowing down. Both players are just stagnant. We see the first dock coming up for Shibu, and I'm sure there's a dock on the other side of the map by now. Oh, that's actually not a dock. Interesting. So so uh, Embe, no dock for Embe. And no market upgrade yet either. No market, rather, for MBA. So both players prioritizing these slingers before even getting the upgrade. That's something you usually see. 
But um, Shifu really has to be careful. His map, although he made it safe quickly, was actually really tenuous, right? Like, this forest is only two trees wide. This forest is usable, very usable. Um, but he doesn't want to just repit just yet, as this one is still pretty efficient. But he's going to be in danger of chopping through on most sides. And, oh, man. It's pretty unlucky for him. He built a scout ship first, but his opponent doesn't actually have a dock up yet. He will be able to deny the shorefish and this woodline, which actually would be pretty nice. Maybe that's why. He's probably scouted this, and he's bringing it around to get some critical damage here on this economy. Six Vils trapped in here. That uh, scout ship could actually do really well. And yeah, now he's going for fishing boats. And now we see the slingers for both players coming out. Embe's army is much larger right now. Embe's army is much larger. And you're going to see that they're actually dead even right now. And that is actually incredible. Where? Oh, I guess he's got a lot of slingers packed up against this. But neither player with the market yet to get this upgrade. It means that these slingers are actually pretty slow at taking down stuff. They do still get their bonus damage versus buildings. So it will be pretty efficient. And look at this. This is the scout ship getting that real early scout ship across the map. I like this play a lot. Both players with very small economies. This is very expensive for Embe to deal with. Doesn't have a way to answer this. Oh, is this a transport? Is there a dock for a transport? Oh, we're going to see a transport. I think. I thought. Maybe not. Maybe not. It was just it was just so well placed. It was like five units right along the coast. That's like the indicator of a transport. But I guess we're not going to be seeing one just yet. And now, yeah, Embe just going to freely hit on these uh, barracks. Forcing Shibu to waste more wood. Building up behind it. Still not getting the dock. They're the market upgrade. Now, on the other side of the map, we're getting, we're getting kind of a mirror here of these uh, players peppering their economies from the sea. This is uh, dangerously close to chopping through, and there are axers around, so they does need to be careful. But the biggest issue is, uh, yeah, this still both players here. Just danger dangerously close at all times to losing everything. Oh man, twenty four wood. Yeah, he's got to he's got to move into the middle. So now, and then they with two ships out. It's actually looking to take a pretty decisive. Oh, and he chopped through, and she got right in on that. Bringing the ship around again. Interesting. But a big start developing is that uh, the sea is being round up by Embe. They seems to be taking quite a few ships. Now, an option for Shibu is to potentially fight the sea with his uh, slingers. Is there a hole here? No, there's a, there must be a tree there. There must be. Hmm. Peculiar. Yeah, I think that Embe is going to start picking, growing with his eco, because he does have just more docks, I think. Just more docks. But he's investing a lot in these scout ships. It's hard to say. This is, this is really tough to call. These players are both kind of strung out to the limits here. Neither player can really make safe and get big. For the time being. But the axers for Shibu are slowly getting picked off, right? There's only a few left. But just these few axers with such low HP are still so menacing. And there's actually a hole here. Could have just walked in. Could have just walked in. There is a hole. He's gonna see it. He's gotta see it pathing around, which should indicate to him that there's a hole. Yeah, he clicked he right clicked in there. It's gonna get him with at least one of these axers, and it's kind of low HP, so it could be dealt with, but uh, I'm not sure. Meanwhile, she forced to do some emergency repairs, and this is devastating for Embe at this point. Uh, he can't really afford to be losing. He can't afford to lose this many bills. Uh, it's really going to put him behind on army production. 
but at the same time, Shibu losing another barracks. Another barracks and Shibu's whole Shibu's whole economy is just trapped in here. And he's gonna start running out of space. And we talked about this before. The lack of um space in this in this area. It's nice. It was nice against axers, but against slingers they can just do this to every single one of these forests. It's just too small. And and there's no way Shibu's gonna have to push out at some point. Like Embe's not, or yeah, Embe's just not gonna take a silly fight, right? He's not just gonna throw his slingers away easily. It's gonna take, it's gonna take a concerted effort from Shibu. Meanwhile, I think Embe's made the rest of the map safe. Shibu, he's protecting his sea pretty efficiently here. He's got four scout ships patrolling the map. Now the stone wall will go down. Get that. Those slingers just walked through the berries. Oh, and they got the upgrade. He built a market somewhere. And he got that upgrade. And now he's going to be putting a lot of pressure onto these slingers. Yeah, Shibu does not win this fight easily. It's going to need a lot of numbers. He's got a pretty nice fight there, though, like with the, with the spacing. Where do I hear axers? I don't know, actually. Hmm. Strange. She was somehow running away from the three ships here. Even though two of them were damaged. Thought he was going to win that. Oh, there are the axers. I'm blind. They're, they're just right there. <laughs> they're right there, guys. Oh, that's funny. Now, the pressure comes in from Embe. With that extra range, he can line up these fights a lot easier. He just does more damage. Yeah, Embe can do a lot here. I think I think Shibu's just too trapped. He doesn't have access to wood anymore. He only has his food income, so it's going to take a lot of axes or something. So he needs to do something to break free of this. And this is this is potentially where this could happen. With these axes in front, he could actually be looking to take a nice fight. But here it comes. Here comes the push. This is the GG push from Embe. If he wins this fight, he takes the game. And it looks like he will be taking this fight very handily. Shibu, without that upgrade, is really unable to compete. Maybe a little of, uh... Just a, maybe over-focus on the sea with these ships. Forced to retreat to his ships to help win the fight. Hmm. This is a lot of ships, though. This could do a lot of damage. It's happening. What just happened to these ships? This fight's... This is getting messy for Shibu. It's getting really messy. And they're looking so strong. Looking to push it out. And though there's only a few ships left. Looks like all the ships for Shibu died, except for one. Got the second here, but it will be going down in short order to these slingers. And that's the game. GG. Uh, Shibu has some uh, fishing boats left, and that's all of his population. And they're just going to get round up by the slingers and the ships of uh, Embe pretty quickly here. Without any way to replace his navy, Shibu just... Uh, he can't... He can't afford... Units. He can't afford... Wood. He doesn't can't afford any wood units. There's no wood income. And look at the unit. the units from Embe are just everywhere, swarming in. Every ship he loses here is precious. And another one goes down, and there are four fishing boats left, I think, and that's the population. Somewhere along those lines. And there's the GG from Shibu. Call it. Man. Really close game. Really close game. GG, guys. GG. It really, that really was actually... That was a really epic conclusion to that. So, you know the first two games were kind of uh, kind of one-sided both times. 
But, you know, you, the both players had their opportunities. And then, Embiid just strolling in here. 